This is chapter three, lesson six, add and subtract like fractions. So fractions that have the same denominators are called like blank. In those blanks, you're going to write like fractions. So fractions that have the same denominators are called like fractions. When I add and subtract like fractions, to add or subtract like fractions, I add or subtract the numerators and write the results over the denominator. So, for this, when you're adding and subtracting like fractions, you do nothing with the denominator. It stays the same. You add or subtract the like fractions, the numerators, the denominator stays the same. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at a couple of examples. So it says add five ninths plus two ninths, right in simplest form. So all I do is I add the numerators together. 5 times 2 is 7. So 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 ninths. I cannot do anything else with that. It is already in simplest form, so that is my answer. It is done. Okay, you can only add the numerators together. The denominators stay the same. The denominators stay the same when you're adding and subtracting fractions. Okay. Sophia ate 3 fifths of a cheese pizza. Jack ate 1 fifth of a cheese pizza and 2 fifths of a pepperoni pizza. How much pizza did Sophia and Jack eat together? Okay. So Jack ate one fifth and two fifths, so I add those together, and Sophia ate three fifths. So all of my denominators are the same. They're all five, so I just add them together. Three plus one plus two gives me three plus three, which is six. Six fifths I can simplify into a mixed number. Five goes into six one time, and I have one left over, one and one fifth. So Sophia and Jack ate one and one fifth pizzas together. Then I have subtract negative 5 eighths minus 3 eighths, right in simplest form. So, negative 5 eighths minus 3 eighths, so I'm subtracting, so they're both subtraction. Okay, so negative 5 minus 3, negative 5 minus 3 gives me negative 8. My denominator stays the same of 8. Negative 8 over 8 is negative 1 when I simplify. Okay, you only subtract the numerators, remember the denominators stay the same. So another way to think about adding and subtracting when you're dealing with integers, which is kind of what we're dealing with, um, is to think about, so you're standing in a line. If you want to go positive, so if your first number is positive, you go to the left. If your first number is negative, you go to the right. Okay? The second number tells you if you walk forward or backwards. Okay? And it'll kind of visualize where you are in a line. So for the first one, I have negative 5. Right? So negative 5, and it tells me to go backwards, minus 3, 1, 2, 3. So I'm getting a bigger negative number, okay? So negative 8. All right, there are a couple of try problems out below. I want you to go ahead, pause the video, try them out, and when you're done, we'll go over the answers together. All right, now that you've had a chance to try out the try problems, let's go over the answers together. So, for the first problem I have, add negative 2 fifths plus negative 2 fifths. So, if we think about a number line, right, negative 2 plus a negative 2, so I'm still going backwards, 1, 2. Negative 2 plus negative 2 gives me a negative 4, okay? My denominators stay the same, so negative 4 fifths. I cannot simplify that any further. Eduardo used fabric to make three costumes. He used one-fourth yard for the first, two-fourths yard for the second, and three-fourths yard for the third costume. How much fabric did Eduardo use? So this is like normal. I have one-fourth plus two-fourths plus three-fourths. One plus two is three, plus three is six, so I get six-fourths. Remember, my denominators stay the same. Four goes into six one time with two left over, so one and two fourths, which I can then simplify to equal one and one half. So he used one and a half yards of fabric. Okay. For last one, subtract negative five ninths minus two ninths. So again, I subtract and I go backwards. So subtract negative five ninths minus two ninths. I get negative seven ninths, right, in simplest form. 
I cannot simplify that any further. That is as simplified as it gets. And that is the end of chapter three, lesson six.